All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can use a Thunderbolt cable just like this to connect two Macs together and actually basically create your own network for SMB. What this means is you'll be able to access with incredibly fast 10 gigabit speeds files on the other Mac. This is great for quick transfer between two things, especially when airdrop is gonna to be too slow. I'm talking like hundreds of gigabyte files. This is so much faster than trying to do this over Wi-Fi, and it's gonna be a lot more stable. It is just a really easy way to set this up, and it can be done in about two minutes. So for this tutorial, all you need are three things, and two of them are Macs. All you need are Macs with Thunderbolt ports. They can either be Thunderbolt 2 or 3, but you're gonna to need to make sure that both of them are communicating at the same protocol. You can get an adapter to have a Thunderbolt 2 cable talk to a Thunderbolt 3 port. This way you can work with an older Mac and a newer Mac, but I think most people now just have Thunderbolt 3 ports. And then finally, all you need is a Thunderbolt cable. This one, as you can see, is quite short, but it is a Thunderbolt 3 cable. And for this tutorial, I'm actually using a much longer one, but it's out off camera right now. And I'll go ahead and leave an Amazon link to this. And so once you've got that set up, it's incredibly easy to use. So we're gonna go ahead and start off on the Mac you want the files to come from. So this is gonna be what's called the server. So the first thing you need to do is go into Apple, System Preferences, and go into Sharing, and you need to have enabled file sharing. I've got another tutorial, I'll leave the link in the description for how to set this up. And then once you've done that, go ahead and plug that Thunderbolt cable into both the Macs, and we're gonna go into Network Preferences. And so now we're just gonna go into Network, and if you don't already have a Thunderbolt bridge over here, all you have to do is click the plus tick and set up a Thunderbolt bridge and just click create. And the great thing is all of this will just work automatically. And so now I'm also gonna do the exact same thing on my other computer. Just gonna go into network plus Thunderbolt bridge and give it a minute. You can see right here that it says some members are connected, and so that means it is going to be negotiating the protocol. And you will see right there that both of them now have a self-assigned IP address. And so now at the exact same time, they both have a self-assigned IP address. They're on the 169.254 domain. So basically this is what's called a local link domain. So neither one of them was able to find a DHCP server. So they just created their own IP address. For this, it's totally fine because they both set it up on the same subnet. Long story short, it's just gonna work out of the box. But you can set up as your own IP address if you wanted to. And so now, just like that, we're on my main computer and we're going to be able to go into Finder. And we're gonna go down into Network and see it right here. And just click Connect. And so just like that, it's, we're able to browse all the folders on here. We're gonna go ahead and do a Blackmagic speed test. And it's pretty fast. It is not gonna be full on 10 gigabit speeds. And I have found that it is faster than going over a network. That might mean my network's having a few issues. But one other thing I was unable to get working, which I think would really boost this performance, is I was unable to get jumbo frames enabled. And so if I tried to enable jumbo frames, neither one of them would talk to each other. But overall, I'm pretty impressed by these speeds and it's honestly gonna be so much faster than Wi-Fi. At best over Wi-Fi, you should be expect to get maybe one tenth of this because it's just so much slower. Another thing to note, reading is a lot easier than writing. So if you've got to dump a lot of files, set up the one with the files as the server and that way it will be faster. But yeah, that's all there is to it. It now just works out of the box and is so fast for transferring files between two Macs and you don't need any kind of external hard drive or anything like that. It just works. All right, well that's it for this tutorial. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below. And also if you wanna hire me, I've got a link for that in the description as well. All right, have a good one, bye.